Ah, welcome to this edition of What the Fuck, the podcasted video thing. Show. It's a tomato show. No. Ah, flower. Very pretty. Very, 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 very nice. Me likey. Uh, anyway, very tall tomatoes. They really, they're very, really quite um, a lot of stuff in here. A cucumber thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a cucumber somewhere. Um, yes, I know this isn't much of a show, but uh, it's part of the tradition. Let's just call it that for now. Um, ah. Yeah, well, there's a red one there for dinner tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one's stuck in the net. I have to cut him out of there. Anyway, um, but you know, so far so good, mostly. Uh, <laughs> so yes, uh, this will be more of a show. It's, I'm just, just getting my feet wet like the cat. Um, just finding out how to do this right variety show thing. Did it and failed in the past. Might as well try it again. Um, I was um, looking into how you uh, submit this stuff to iTunes. It is really quite uh, complicated. <laughs> you know, they have all kinds of rules. Um, they might not even like it just because of the title because you're not allowed to even suggest a naughty word. So, you know, who knows? Deer did get into my beets and cut the tops off them, but yeah, no tragedy. Uh, it's been harvesting the leaves and whatnot. These are doing quite well. They don't look too good in the rain, of course. I don't know if you really need the detour, but I decided to throw it in. <laughs> and nobody showed up, okay? That's the thing, okay? The, the canoes guy is supposed to show up last week. It didn't show up. didn't show up this week. You know, paid him advance, but you know, he kind of knew he was going to be trouble. Um, but you know, there's courts and laws, so I'll have to show up eventually. I'm pretty sure I can make it so. Hmm. Captain Picardism, make it so. Um, didn't really like that character much. But compared to what, right? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm getting to it. Yeah, so um, I'm just going to try some different things. Um, hire some entertainment. I'm thinking of bringing Happy back. And uh, some other people from the past. And just see what I can afford. Um, uh, let's just see what I can strangle out of... Uh, uh, give a damn if I can find one of those um, for this whole idea that you must you must disguise this conversation uh, in a bunch of bullshit it's, you know that's what people like people are bullshit swimmers and uh, you know it's a fact I've just been reluctant to accept I'll let you look at some of this stuff um, not all terrible, but not as good as it could have been, or should be, but, uh, you know, there's, there's stuff, uh, that's a little nice there, and, you know, and that's doing okay-ish, and things are happening. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll go check the greenhouse, that'll be fun. Um, big rain, so, you know, it's, everything's messy, and I don't want to deal with it. Pool covers full of water. <laughs> so anyway, um, but I'll have to water the stuff in the greenhouse. But it didn't rain on that, of course. Uh, so yeah, this stuff's doing good here. Um, so anyway, so yes, I'm trying to play along. Uh, I'm trying to get my brain to do that. Uh, yeah, lots of stuff in there. Oh, it looks okay. Yeah. Give it some water later and call it a day. <laughs> it's not much sun to bring it out into. Um, 
So, yeah, so I want to keep this, uh, these segments not too long, so I guess that's enough of a segment. The introduction segment, which sort of sucked. But that's the way to, it's, it's, you know, something, <laughs> that's what you're going to get right now. Uh, but, yeah, I'll try some different things and try to limit the amount of time spent on them. So I think the next thing coming is uh, I'll do a review of the videos I did. Quick. Because nobody liked them anyway. Uh, even though it's really good videos. Anyway, and then uh, some other kind of thing. I was going, oh yeah, then I'll do some kind of news thing if the news guy doesn't show up. And then science news thing and something. And then I'll do something else. I was thinking I might do uh, a review. Yeah, I might critique the critiquers. <laughs> yes, the, the, uh, the uh, uh, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you can call this stuff like what educa ed ed edutainment, right? Because you're attempting to do something constructive, um, and you're just wrapping it up in packaging to make it palatable. But other people do it just to entertain because you know they're getting paid, and so they're supposed to be entertainers as they're doing. They do like commentary and stuff. Uh, and, um, you know, but their purpose isn't really to grandize or enhance anyone's mm, function in the world. Um, you know, beyond telling them what they want to hear. And, um, you know, perhaps in that limited scope, make them more like them or something. Uh, but it's hard to say. It's hard to say how much of the opinions are, are, are genuine, you know, and how much of it's just, they say what sells, like the news. You know, news is basically just uh, an audience. And so, depending on what the demographics are of the audience, that's, the news is tailored to the audience. So it's really not news. It's commentary by, you know, it's definitely, Painted. Pretty? So anyway, I forgot to cover my dirt over there, I noticed. This means it's going to be mud. But anyway, it's not your problem. So, till, uh, really quite soon. Ah, I'm not back. Inside. Anyway, so, uh, yes, I did do some, I think, recently not too bad videos this week, so since the last what the fuck, I did do a couple more of the Trumps, so, you know, there's like four of those, and, uh, they all have, the, it's like a declining view numbers, so that's probably not a good sign, probably not, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, part one, yeah, 1700 views, part six, 498, yeah, that's not good, um, you know. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? Um, I gotta do better. I keep saying that. And, uh, so that's sort of the, uh, one of the videos I made. No growth or progress in Fructardia. Is that, uh, there's a price for intelligence. And, uh, you know, it, it, there's nothing, it just isn't fun, generally speaking, to do the right thing. Generally speaking, it's work. And if we don't have the ambition to maximize our potential and get the most out of ourselves, we won't. Because the basic function is to just roll and not pay attention to where the wheels are going and what they're running over. I mean, that's the, the default condition is just to close your eyes and hold the steering wheel. And, just, and that just isn't going to do it. Is the world you live in is complicated. It has lots of choice uh, choices in the sense that it matters which road, which which way your wheels are turned at different points are going to d dictate all kinds of implications. Lots of cause and effect happening. And uh, one of the cause and effect mechanism has to be something inside your brain that says, yeah, steer. Try to be productive on purpose because it's just not going to happen by accident. This is not the nature of us. We're selfish assholes. And people just don't want to hear that. But, 
I said it again. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, they're putting out a good video. So that's no growth or progress in Fructaria. Big brainless. And this is another, this is another good video. Um, and, um, you know, this isn't just an argument that just seems out there. You know, where human beings have this perception that their bigger brain automatically makes them logical or something. And it doesn't. The, the bigger brain might be a little bit useful in terms of language. I think language takes a lot of space in your brain um, to store it because it has to connect all the words to each other I mean the words are defined by the words I mean it's kind of a kind of a tricky thing so the whole thing is an interconnected network of connected things and those connected things create language and so that takes a lot of mental resources to create the language because there has to be a lot of storage a lot of I have to store the word red for example in lots of different ways red on my favorite cigarette packs all my favorite cigarette packs were red um, well had red as a dominant feature of their function as a cigarette package <laughs> um, but anyway uh, but yeah so I have a lot of connected things to red. So that concept in my brain, that word, is connected to lots of things. So it takes lots of brain to do that. And uh, so people just don't get it, that the language is really the complex thing. And doing logic, though, there's no rule. There's, you know, there's, no, there's no requirement that you connect red in a coherent way to other colors. Um, like like connecting your own suffering to the suffering of other people. Now, logically, it's a no-brainer. I mean, it's you're just logically sitting there saying, well, what, are you going to contrive some excuse not to? And yes, that's what people do. They contrive an excuse not to. They're kind of taught not to. And they go along with that. They're real go-alongers, like the Anticonavods of the world who think they're such rebels and they're such go-alongers you know when it comes to the denialism and the silly little mental games to weasel around the truth of our existence which is we're on a really creepy lifeboat cruise to hell <laughs> I mean it all's going wrong you're gonna sink uh, there's just nothing gonna be good about this fucking stupid story except some asshole telling jokes it really isn't going to be very good. It really isn't going to be very good. I mean, it really isn't. A little bit of... Yeah, it just really isn't going to be worth the crash. The glub glub. Glub 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 glub. Those spasms are going to be... The unpleasant spasms are going to be a lot worse than the pleasant spasms. But anyway... But you always get these assholes that just keep arguing, they keep defending, keep trying to aggrandize human beings as an essential organism or something. And frankly, what we've used our intelligence for, our knowledge, our, our language, is the scheme. We're not doing anything truly rational or logical with it. We're doing things personally advantageous with it. And this is sort of what I point out in these videos. I mean, this video, I even point this out more, maybe, where I just point out the realization when I was a kid that I was an asshole. And yes, it was an unpleasant admission, <laughs> but it was just so obviously true. And uh, most people just can't man up and uh, smell their own scheming. So anyway, that's the, the videos for this week, I suppose. Uh, so go watch them and such. Subscribe and and love and you know hit all the necessary little happy buttons of any kind. La, 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 la. <sighs> anyway, so next. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Mighty Python used up all the good stuff. Continuing. That's what I'll say, something like that, maybe.
are now for something completely not entirely different. Much the same, but slightly variated. Yes, and now for something much the same, but slightly variated. I thought I would do uh, some a little bit of drunken peasants. You know, just some critique of the critiquers. You know, just some sort of commentary on the commentators that are successful commentators, i.e., counterposed against my lack of success. Um, I mean, success in the fact that I am not saying what people want to hear, obviously. <laughs> you know, and I'm not doing it funny enough. I don't know. We'll see how funny they are. See if it has any real value that anyone with a brain could extract. I guess that's the key words we're looking for here. Is it really got any info in it? And does it have any tainment? Am I going to be tamed? I'm doubting it. So, I'll do like three minutes per episode here, just to move, well, I'll just move through each show, whatever the most current show is, and just start at the time I left off on the other show. Just, and then we'll know what the show is like through the whole show, kind of thing. Just so we not keep doing the intro, right? Doing the intro over and over would be stupid. Well, anyway, let's, so, I don't know what the intro is, so let's find out. So this one's called Brett Keane's Unintentional Comedy. Crazy conspiracies, la la la, and they they put marijuana leaves in here, you know, like so. I guess that's to how you be cool. Look, yeah, I smoke do doobie doobers. <laughs> yeah, I I mean it's it's like having your wanking device or something, anal plug. I mean, you know, I I guess I should just do that. I should put the anal plugs in the, you know. I mean, you grow out of that kind of stuff. There's a period where you say, oh, yeah, this is interesting. And then you realize, oh, well, I just become dependent on that. And now I'm dependent on it. And that's no, that's not cool. So, you know, all that stuff is fun. But you got to just, you know, you got to move on. Or else you're just never going to, you're, you're just going to need to keep piling anal plugs after anal plug. And it's just, it's not going to solve the big picture problem, which is life sucks and reefer ain't gonna fix it. It's true. I'm not anti-pot, I'm just saying it's it's fun, but it's just masturbating people. Uh-oh, I'm wasting time. I haven't commenta I haven't played the commentary I'm commentating on yet. Alright, I hit the button. So far, the Drunken Peasants podcast is full of comedic exaggerations, independent thought, insensitivity, and other offensive content. We strongly urge all viewers and listeners to keep their brains and their skulls throughout the entire duration of this podcast. Failure to do so will result in immediate death. If you wish, yeah, it's, it's so Brett Keenish. <laughs> you know, ha 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 ha! I got rid of the ad. To support this podcast, there are several ways to do so. Oh, First, right. you can sign up for a free audiobook trial at audibletrial.com forward slash Drunken Peasants. Yes, I could go do that. No, or not. Audible is the foremost seller of audiobooks today with hundreds of thousands of titles to satisfy all manner of tastes. Second... That's right, so they're getting paid to say this shit. If you shop on Amazon.com, please use the Amazon affiliate links in the description section of this video. Every purchase you make helps to support... I didn't even know they still did that crap. Buy me stuff at Amazon, links. Or pay more at Amazon and give me the money. Hey, those are naked boobs. Right there, I see. They're, they're naked. How come they're allowed to do that? Huh. Well, anyway, I suppose she must be wearing something over the nipples. For this podcast's existence. Third, please peruse our merchandise and see if any of it strikes your fancy. We sell a lot of t-shirts, so we must be doing something right. One more thing before I go. To make it a yes, okay, so that's doing something right is selling a lot of t-shirts. Something some people don't even think about. Like putting crap on their t-shirt. Well, number one, they're uncomfortable, right? I mean, most of the crappy t-shirts that have crappy artwork on them, um, you just end up sweating. Yuck. So you have to wear a shirt under your t-shirt or something. I just don't get the... I'm just not much of a wear it statement kind of person, but, you know. Whatever. Continuing. 
official submission of the Drunken Peasants, whether it be a video for one of our segments, or fan art, or a picture of you wearing one of our shirts, or anything you think we might want to use on the show, that stuff needs to be sent to the Drunken Peasants Facebook inbox. Please do not send correspondence. Yeah, oh, Facebook inbox. Ooh, like I would, like I'd go anywhere near that herpes covered thing. Ew, that's really gross. That's like, you know, hey, if you want to talk to me, you're going to have to first stick your head in my ass. Well, I'm not doing that. As this will be deleted unread. With all that shit out of the way. Oh, yes, well, it was shit, frankly. And I don't even know what this is. What is this? Black vomit or something? What is this? What is this an image of? DP, the drunken peasants. Gritty thing with this stuff in the background pixelated with this black blobby thing on it. I don't know what that is. Not even close. It's a tear of some sort in the fabric of deep meaning. That's what it is. It's a tear in the fabric of deep meaning. And the drunken presence is coming out of that tear. Fascinating. I don't get it. I really, I thought there would be, like, I thought there would be something. I mean, they do have people to do artwork. They put ugly faces on things. They do some photoshopping stuff. This is it? I mean, this is, you know, for you potty people, I can't really explain it, but potty people? I don't like that. It's time to begin the show. Good. It's loud. Down a little bit. It's kind of loud. Okay, so it has like the anonymous straw man. That's sort of an interesting conceptual thing. And the rest of this crap in the background is just kind of messy. Fireworks, uh, very Brett Keenish again. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yeah, it's very, very well articulated. Thank you. Thank you for saying it all very articulately so I could understand what you're saying. So, yes, so far, so bad. Smart people need not apply. <laughs> Anybody got a joint? Oh, no, no, not on me, man. Okay, so you gotta do this, gotta do this drug culture thing, <laughs> you know, because it's just so cool to be all in the drug culture. Don't have back to back with us. What the fuck you talking about? Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? That's like a, what is that? What was that guy? Weasel? Weezer? Weezer? Round guy. I can't remember. Well, that's obviously. Um, they are like children. Yes. Tantrums and such. <laughs> All right, spinning stuff, little graphics things. Uh, head on different body kind of stuff and uh, images of media around the world so to speak which means that like, yes they're going to commentate uh, in some kind of meaningful way where people just can't wait to hear it well, do it live fuck it do it live fucking thing welcome to the drunken peasants podcast episode number episode number whatever this yeah ends up whatever being. this ends up being Okay, well that was entertaining. <laughs> so far, that's a good joke. <laughs> hey, whatever episode it is. I'm up to episode four something or other. They're only at 263. I'm bigger than they are, of course. Probably all put together, right? You could put them all the little penises together. I still got more stuff. Uh, this is a pre-recorded episode. To hold you faggots over while we're on vacation. Oh, another vacation. I thought the last time, like two months ago, they were on vacation. So I guess they take a vacation every two months. But anyway, so yes, subscribe, become a patron, exclusive content, check out our awesome shirts. Okay, so that's just fun. I love the, I love all the marketing fun. Marketing fun is always fun. 
So, so far, big win. So, uh, this, this time next week, we will not be here. We will not be here. Nope. Hey. <clears throat> right. This time next week, we will not be here. Well, they're not here this time this week. So, what's the difference, though? What's exactly the difference between a recorded and a live when I don't get to interact in any specific way? Is, is there any difference? I mean, do I really care? I, I mean, let's just say the whole, if you found out that everything was delayed in, in you know, broadcast and you, you never saw anything actually when it was broadcast because it was held in a delay somewhere, how could that possibly make a difference? TJ. Yes. Or in two want, weeks, rather. Look, I'm not even talking to the audience. I want to talk to you directly, TJ. All right, so they got these for you potty people. They have little icons at the bottom of the video, and then they have these blocks on top of it about subscribe and do all this stuff, and then it's empty space above that. So it's, there are, the videos, it's like, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it, but it's, what's the point of that? I know, well, it's something the, the technology they're using does, but I mean, it just seems kind of stupid, right? Yes, it does. It's a video. It seems kind of stupid. Okay. Again, I, 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 you know, every day I have to fucking look at you, I'm getting fucking sicker of this fucking shit. I'm getting so fucking sick. Hey, well, man, the vantage point ain't so I'm great. getting Where so I'm fucking here, sick. Bitch. I don't give a shit, TJ. I'm getting so fucking sick of living your goddamn fucking shadow. I'm gonna fucking beat you with this drinking contest, you pile of shit. Yeah. Okay, so they're drinking contest and uh, banter banter. Fun, fun, fun so far. <laughs> I, I'm so... Infotained. Whatever, Scotty. I fucking got this shit. Just admit fucking defeat now, TJ. Your little gay ass attempts to be intense just make you fuck. Oh. Okay, so faggot and gay ass. So we're gonna do that kind of stuff too, because that's cool to be. I don't give a shit <laughs> about the words that connotate. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I won't pay any attention to that. I won't use those connotative tile style words. But uh, you know. We're all guilty of that, right? Yeah. Oh, gas attempts? You see this like gas attempt, TJ? This is a gas attempt? Scotty. I take your fucking mic from you, bitch. I win. Yeah, whatever. Scotty. Drop the fuck. So that's another thing that just, I thought they had invented better mics by now. I mean, Paul's ego seems to have one of these better kind of mics uh, that you don't shove into your face. I have one of those shove into your face mics, and it does seem totally to defeat the purpose. <laughs> you know, I mean, it just really isn't. It's kind of an unpleasant experience to talk. So it kind of makes you say, I'm not going to talk now. Yeah. I'm not going to open my mouth because that microphone is trying to get in. You dirty fucker. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Oh, we're not to three minutes yet, so. Fucking my TJ, you pussy. You're just an annoying little insect. Annoying little insect that's going to fucking crush you, TJ. Yeah, insects don't crush. They get crushed. Well, 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 how well, pathetic you all keep being. Well, that was a good comeback. Insects get crushed. They don't crush. It's true enough. I, I don't think that could be disputed in any major way. So, a good info. So, a little bit of info. And it was sort of entertaining because, yes, he made Scotty look like an asshole. Which he is. Alright. Alright, so he gets a point for that. But I wouldn't tune in for that. We'll give him a point. Anyway, so enough of this. <laughs> yeah, moving on. So next time we'll show up at three minutes and then we'll go to six and that kind of thing. Be fun. Or not. I'm afraid the or not is probably going to be the problem here. But we'll see. All these segments don't have to stick. I can fire any one of them any moment I want to. So we'll just try some shit and the shit that works will probably won't be able to tell the difference, but anyway, till momentarily, when I will do something not like exactly what I just did, but similar. Yeah. Ah, back. Uh, yes, doing the news segment. So I'm going to look for news. It's a thing called Google News. Okay, so I guess we'll click on Google's own version of news. It's a search engine that puts its own results on top of the page. 
Yeah, no problem with that. <laughs> if Microsoft did, everybody would say that's okay. Google's our friend. Ah, okay, active shooter scare ends with one dead and four wounded. Active shooter scare. So somebody pretended to be a shooter and people got killed. Cool. Maybe. I mean, most people suck. So, you know, they're all going to die anyway. Alright. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Did they have the Democratic Convention? I really have to do Hillary's speech. I didn't feel like doing it yet. I'll do it later. Whenever it is. Or whenever it was. I'll do it at some other time. I'll pretend I was on vacation and I'll pre-record it and late release it. So anyway, uh, politics. Donald Trump's confrontation with Muslim soldiers' parents emerges as unexpected flashpoints. Well, I guess I'll have to find out what this is about. See what kind of news you get. Let's see. So there's some parents, uh, a little crazy woman with her whatever, her garb on. I'm just kind of sick of you garb wearers be making your religious statement right in my face. I mean, I, you know, really, do you want me to wear a t-shirt that says, fuck you, you ignorant religious cunt? That should be my right? <laughs> yeah, fuck you, religious fuckers. You're stupid, ignorant turds. You want to wear it on your head? Well, go ahead. But that's all I see, is I'm declaring myself a stupid, ignorant, dumb cunt of a woman who wants to play some sort of weirdo psycho game where I am servient to my husband and it's like that's the only way I can get my fat flabby vagina to get it all, all damp at all. Now that was explicit content. Anyway, Donald Trump reeled on Sunday, aimed a... huh? Donald J. Trump. Oh, some other guy. <laughs> oh, okay, I've never heard of this Donald J. guy. Reeled on Sunday amid a sustained campaign of criticism by the parents of a Muslim American soldier killed by a suicide bomber in Iraq and a rising outcry within his own party over his rough and radically charged dismissal of the couple. Oh dear, he dismissed them. Well, if he dismissed them for being religious cunts, that would work, but he's already said the Bible is his favorite book, so he's, always ba he's already basically declared himself a religious kook. And he's declared that he's going to put women who have abortions in jail and all kinds of crazy shit that earns him, you know, tire treads and whatnot. <clears throat> anyway, um, the confrontation between parents and the uh, Karzar and Gazazaz as of there and Mr. Trump, <laughs> Mr. J. Trump, has emerged as an unexpected and politically you already said this pivotal flashpoint in the general election. Uh, well, you say the same thing in two paragraphs. Brilliant writing, news people. Mr. Trump, I mean Mr. J. Trump, has Mr. D. Trade J. Oh, D. J. Trump. I mean, why doesn't he go with that? D. J. Trump. He could have like a whole little, you know, play records backwards and shit. Has plainly struggled to respond to the re reproach of the military family who lost their child. They didn't lose him. He was a paid murderer. And he has repeatedly answered the Khan family criticism with harsh and defensive rhetoric. Well, I mean, what's he supposed to say? <laughs> I mean, Muslim killing Muslim? Oh, gee, like, I invented that? No, I didn't. Uh, anyway, and Mr. J. D. J. Trump's usual political toolkit has appeared to fail him. Uh, the, I don't know, usual toolkit is, hey, look over there. <laughs> yeah. Did you look? Uh, here and no reprieve with his complaints, with his complaints, with his complaints. Oh, okay, we need a comma there. That Mr. Khan has been unfair to him or with his repeated attempts to change the subject to Islamic terrorism. Oh, so Hillary showed up though and she saved the day. Hillary Clinton, Hillary J. Clinton, or Hillary S. Clinton, or Hillary C. Clinton, Cuntish, sternly reprimanded Mr. Trump, saying at a church in Cleveland, oh, so let's go to a church and talk about fanatics killing fanatics. How much fun will that be? 
how much reason is there in any of this scenario is there any are there any rational relationships whatsoever so is any of this should any of this make me think the human race knows what it's doing it certainly doesn't make me think there's a god who does anyway Trump had answered the Khan's family sacrifice with personal disrespect and with disrespect for American traditions of religious tolerance. Well, I gotta give uh, Trump points. Uh, I think we should be intolerant, but we should also be intolerant of Christian lunatics trying to put mullahs on the Supreme Court. So yeah, we ought to we ought to treat all the fanatic religious people the same, and that is we ought to spit on them and then shit on them and then piss on them and then tell them to grow a brain or go sh swim with the sharks or something. Go do something preposterously stupid in line with your fundamentally retarded philosophy. You're a fucking brain-dead piece of shit. Go dig a hole and pretend you're a carrot. Or something like that. I, I mean, really, religion is just so fucking should be. I mean, it is just such a corpse. And if you're going to wear a corpse, yeah, fuck you. You're, you're just not playing human right. Ah, uh, let's see. Mr. Khan made the ultimate sacrifice in his family. In his family. I, I mean, this is, you know, who wrote this? Oh, this is a quote from Mrs. Clinton. Oh, well, that's just a brilliant quote for the next president of the United States. Mr. Khan made the ultimate sacrifice in his family, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, what the hell does that mean? And what has he heard from Donald Trump? What is he supposed to hear? Uh, tough. Yeah, I didn't start the war. Nothing but insults, degrading comments about Muslims, a total misunderstanding of what made our country great. Well, our country was never great. It just wasn't. I mean, the whole revolutionary, I mean, the whole... Yeah, Revolutionary War was about um, ownership. It was just a bunch of rich people saying, uh, I, I want to own the country, not the kings. So that was all kind of silly. I mean, it was cheaper tea in the harbor. It was cheaper tea in the harbor. I mean, it was a trade war. It wasn't about freedom from the oppression of the English. It was just a bunch of cunts in this country who said, uh, we're here. We want to own it. Be our slave, instead of being an English slave. So that's not really great. And the rest of this stuff, you know, blah, blah, blah. You could go through all the history. It's just a bunch of exploitation and all the rest of that shit. But religious assholes never made this country great. I mean, if this country was ever even good, it wasn't because of religious crackheads. They have done nothing but make trouble and make problems. They have nothing, nothing but regressed our progress as thinking individuals just totally destructive so anyway the news is fuck this story sucks so yeah I've had enough of that nonsense I, I mean you know Trump should be disqualified because he's just so obviously a liar the Bible isn't his favorite book there we're done right there aren't we aren't we done you can't say something so grotesquely inaccurate <laughs> you know a book you never read you can't call your favorite book that's just that's just too unpresidential make google news yours well thank you google add a topic you like to read about in the news like astronomy now i think i'm done you know it says done no i think i'm done with you google news you cunts what the fuck is that shit I, you know, I'm reading the fucking news and you're going to irritate and annoy me with some kind of suggestion that I should what have some sort of permanent tattoo uh, on my ass to Google? No, I'm not doing that. <sighs> so, racist raced, racist raced, Clinton aims to race, cast, race, race, cast, race. So anyway, they might, uh, yeah, they must have had their thing because there's people holding hands and doing la 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 so there must have been the democratic convention uh so i have to go find that speech someday uh what are trump and clinton planning for the white house oh, well whatever i just can't stand this it's horrible living in america now microsoft is updating windows 10 again 
in his latest bid to win you back. Back from what? There's a choice? Huh, I didn't know. I didn't know there was a choice. Well, I mean, a choice if you want to actually use the computer. You know, I mean, if you don't really need to use it for anything but interneting, well, yeah, then you can do that free thing. Well, there's a girl and uh, stuff. Let's see, the Essential Olympic Game Planner. Oh, they still haven't done that? Jesus Christ. But, uh, yeah, there are a lot of, you know, hot chicks in the Olympics. But otherwise, just this unwatchable nonsense. I'm, I'm just really, I would just have chick parade, just leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. Chick showers, chick stuff, you know, I mean, fuck, the Olympics of chicory. And, you know, I don't need any of the rest of it. That's it, it's me personally, I really just don't have really any interest in the she-males or the rest of the stuff going on there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. i sorry, I was just looking at an image of the Khan family. I'm just like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, they're true blue Americans all over. They just look so American. Anyway, Tokyo elects first woman governor to tap tackle Olympic-sized task. Well, a governor. Governor of Tokyo. Yeah, well... I, I, it's good, you know, it's, it's, they can't do worse than the, you know, the men in Japan have been kind of, you know, they haven't done anything uh, very samurai lately, right? I mean, nothing to write home about, about the Braves, Japanese, whatever, all they've done is like dress like Elvis and stuff, they really just don't do anything terribly interesting anymore. But anyway, that's Texas hot air balloon crash. Ooh. At least 16 confirmed dead? <laughs> what? How do you kill 16 people in this with a stupid balloon? Man, that's pretty bad. Yeah, well, they're trying to figure out exactly how many people were on the balloon. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's 16 confirmed dead, so... So it's like that. This is fucking almost... It's almost like the Hindenburg or something. That's a lot of people dead from a balloon. But it's that whole Darwin thing, right? You're just weeding out the imbecile, so good news in a way. Um, they you know, won't breed uh, more. They'll no longer create humans. So, theoretical win. Sadly, but true. Sadly, but true. All the true things are probably sadly, but true. So anyway, this is probably enough, right? I don't know if I have to do science news, too. It'd probably go too long anyway, because I already went too long on this. So I have to fix that part. Yeah, I'm too long. Uh, so the video might have cut off. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, but you won't get warning of that, because it'll be the cut-off part. So anyway, until the next time, and such. That really is enough.